Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I have um, an activation of light for you. This is in case you hear uh, what seems to be um, malevolent entities or alien species around you. And it Well, so you may have heard the story that, um, that our world has been um, uh, that our world has been subjugated by an alien, uh, hostile alien life form for a long time, a hundred thousand years or so. And, um, and I know you've seen the movies or have heard of the movies about this slave planet with the humans on it and like that. And um, in, in a way that, um, that's true. Um, there is a lot of energy on Earth today that is um, far from the truth of our nature, our soul nature. And uh, just, just it, you know, it may be so that, with, that there are such things as demon hordes, and, and some people say there are like 500 different types of astral entities, and some of them are hostile and some are um, um, kind and sweet to human beings. So, so that is a story that's going around in the newosphere. And simply by virtue of being a story, it deserves some, some attention and clearing effort. And uh, so, and there are people that actually believe all that and have seen all that for their personal selves and their own sakes. And um, so, this this activation of light that I'm about to give is about that. And uh, before I give the activation of light, because I anticipate a, a, a possible reaction among some people regarding political correctness, okay, I'd like to explain something about um, demonic strategy, uh, alien, invas alien, invading alien species strategies, okay. Apparently, the, um, the the one great strategy of this purported um, alien species that's been manipulating our mental emotional fields for a long time, the one great strategy they have is to turn humans one against the other. It's what you might call a disinformation campaign. And, and it exists in the fourth dimension. It has been dumbed down to to the third dimension, to the to our physical world, through the uh, agency of these these um, these hostile alien 4D entities. Okay, um, so you see it in in terms of um, you know corporate interests and lobbying in Congress, which favors um, specific um, sets of small sets of people. Um, and and attempts to promote them rather than promoting the good of this great nation, and so sometimes our our great leaders are are um, they attempt to influence our great great leaders in a particular way rather than a general way, which is of course their their promised and sworn duty to us, you know. So so. So that's just one example of, of, of lobbying is one example of, of the type of um, activity that has been carried out by these illegal, hostile, alien species for a long time. Um, and there are many others. Okay, So the thing that we humans need to do ought to counteract this is what you might call the prime directive of the invaders. <laughs> We need to stand together. All of us need to stand together. Not blame another human being for anything. Know that we are all under attack with this disinformation campaign. And, and know that we, like Christ, must forgive. And for our own soul's sake, we must forgive our, our friends and neighbors. Forgive everyone for everything. Forgive ourselves for all the wrong we've done. Okay. Now, as to this issue that's going to be um, brought up in, the, in this activation of light, this issue about uh, 
illegal aliens and deportation and so forth. It seems to me altogether wrong to treat human beings in the way that we have treated them. And this whole issue of, de I understand that there are economic concerns regarding scarcity of the world's uh, supplies and a feeling that there is not, not abundance. Okay, but these, these issues of scarcity and lack of abundance can be fixed on the newospheric level. All right, if we all think of and imagine, visualize abundance, the world will find that abundance, okay? The, the abundance is not, not found by fencing ourselves off from other peoples of the world. Justice for corporations, the, the great um, wealth of, of Earth is not found by uh, attempting to obtain it just for a few individuals. The great wealth of Earth comes from all the people of Earth cooperating together. Do you understand? So, so when we deport illegal aliens who are human beings, we need to think twice about what the world needs, not just what we need, what we all need to survive on Earth and to help Earth to flourish and re regain its balance. In my opinion, the process of de deportation, the thought of il il illegality is is based on the demon world. It's it's taken again from this this the rules of order of the invading a alien species. So when I think of the word deportation, and I think of the word alien, I think of these hostile invaders. I do not think of human beings. Okay. So. That's a preface. <laughs> okay, so it goes like this. Spirit to team, deport all illegal, alien, astral entities now for the all through free will. <laughs>